Hi right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, first, let's find out how I got to this point. All right, so we got a two hour drive ahead of us. I'm about to go pick up a modular front bumper for this Ford Bronco. I uh, found this bumper for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Hit him up really quick and I asked him if it was still available. He said it was still available. $300 for a modular bumper for a Ford Bronco. It's a really, really great price. I mean, it's like probably one of the best prices I've seen in a long time. So I'm gonna go out there and snag it up for this guy. So I'm gonna take the journey out there to go pick this bumper up, give him 300 bucks for it, and drive back and then we'll install it in a few days. So let's go. terrible 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 drive wow so it rained basically the whole way up here until we got here like 15 20 minutes away it literally rained the whole entire way but we're here uh the guy's still not here he said he's a few minutes down the road this is what is it hurricane hurricane off road in lake charles louisiana hopefully it doesn't rain all the way back all right, so that was actually a few days ago. Actually, that was last week since I made that video. Now we had them over here at the house and you know what? That was a terrible drive. I don't want to do that again, especially in the rain. I made it for a long drive. Lucky for us, on the way back, it did not rain. But now we have the bumper laying outside, ready for us to install. Uh, should be really simple, guys, but there are a couple things that we need to figure out before we just bolt it onto the Bronco. And the first thing is these plastic bumpers have these toe rings on the front here that we need to remove because the new modular buffer has some but it's not that simple so they are bolted in but they uh, are they actually have a bracket that holds the intercooler up that are at uh, welded to the actual toe hooks so we can't just remove them uh, what most people do is they just cut the toe rings off and that way it still leaves the bracket attached to the inner at least the the bracket is still holding up the intercooler we can do that we can make brackets which is going to cost time and money or we can go buy some brackets that are made for the modular bumper that basically uh, bolt in place and hold the intercooler up they cost like 60 bucks which is not bad but we got to buy two of them and we have to go see if they have Ford has them in stock. We're just going to cut these off because you know what? I'm never going to reuse this bumper and these toe rings anyway. So why might as well just cut these off. We'll figure out that when we get to that step. Let's take off our plastic covers here. Unplug the sensors. All right, now with the plastic covers off on both sides, we got access to our bolts on both sides. 15 millimeters. All right guys, so we got the shield off. We got the sensors unplugged. We have all the bolts minus one on each side holding the bumper on really nice and loose for us here. So the bumper is loose, but the bolts are still holding it first. Before we remove the bumper, we need to disconnect the harness on the driver's side. So when you go underneath the driver's side, locate the harness here that is connected to the fog light. And you know, follow it up to right up there. You see it right there. Go focus camera right there. That is our main harness connector there. So we need to go reach up there and disconnect that. So go so we got it disconnected all right nothing is light with the bumper off i can show you guys a little bit better what i was talking about as far as the toe rings here holding up the intercooler so here is the toe ring here or the toe hook whatever you want to call it and this is the bracket and it's bolted to the frame 
and it's just by two bolts we can unbolt it but if we unbolt it this brace here that holds up the intercooler is also welded to the bracket itself so we can't just unbolt this because then the intercooler won't be supported it just fall down so the four factory ones basically is the same bracket minus the tow hooks here so what we're gonna do is just basically cut these tow hooks here somewhere in the back nice and flush out the way and it'll be just like the factory ones that thing is heavy uh, I need to get a scale and weigh see how much of a difference there is because this thing is pretty light but that thing is actually really heavy I'm curious to see you know what I got a hit I got a scale here in the garage let me go ahead and see how much weight difference this is okay All right, this thing weighs 45 pounds. That thing weighs 80 pounds. That thing's heavy, I'm telling you. That thing is really heavy. That's with no lights, no winch, no nothing. That's, whew, that's, been, that's gonna be heavy on this thing. You're gonna definitely feel the weight difference once we put it on the Bronco. All right, let's go ahead and see about cutting off these tow hooks. Mm, Jabba blades, these look used up. I'm hoping these blades still have some cutting on them because those rings are pretty thick. So let's go ahead and hopefully these blades work. If not, we might have to go and run down and get something. Let's hope this works. All right, so it's cutting but it's definitely dull and I still have to cut three more links so I'm almost all the way through with that one but I think I need to go get a smaller blade All right, pack of five, 20 bucks let's see how well these work alright guys that new blade cut that thing off like butter made a big difference got it nice and flush now cut as close to the bracket as I could I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of just maybe sand this down on the edges and then put a nice coat of black paint on it so it doesn't rust up and then we can go ahead and do the other side kind of getting the bumper ready for the harness install and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I've done so we have to run the harness behind this brace back here and in order to do that you have to take off the front tow hook on the bumper here so I just basically removed the uh, four 13 millimeters from the bracket itself and then just pulled it off off to the side and then we had to unbolt let's see one two three four five six seven eight bolts from the top and then the bolt along the bottom here to hold the brace in so we can go ahead and basically swing it out of our way so i can go ahead and fish the harness along the back but at the end of the bracket here on the driver's side remember we need the harness to come out so we can go ahead and replug our connector and this connector is pretty thick and it won't fit right here and it won't squeeze in between here so and there's no other way to run the harness okay once you have ran the harness through the back of the bumper and you've got access to the back you want to keep it open still guys because we need to mount the new sensors or the sensors back into the bumper and the only way to do that is to have the back axis off okay that's the only way we're gonna do this and it's not as simple as just putting in the sensors because I just did that side and I found out a couple things that you're gonna want to know before you move on to the next step and that is first let's go ahead and remove the sensors out of the brackets and it's really simple you just got to remove these little at least uh, move these tabs 
out and push the sensor from the front back pull this out of here one-handed so here we go like i said just pull these tabs out and then we got to squeeze these tabs in or at least down while you push the bracket through the uh through the front so once you get this little bracket out of the cover there uh you want to keep track or you want to do these one by one okay you want to these are basically supposed to fit in their designated area so if you look at this it's got a little bit of a slant to it so it's not flat see how it's slanted so it's made to fit on that section of the bumper so this one is the passenger corner one and if you note it's got these notches here you see that so these slide in like a puzzle so it's got two notches there and then one over here so this would slide in like this but on the new modular bumper or the new on the modular bumper they're not in the same area and they're not spaced out evenly so if we line up the single one with the single one here there on the other side only one of the notches line up and the other one does not so basically what i ended up doing was i cut the notch that doesn't line up off bracket and the bumper now and now we just grab our sensor here and just plug it back into place might have to go this way with it there it goes all right once it's in grab the connector all right once you're plugged in go ahead and do that to the other side we'll do the center one and then we'll put it all back together all put back together you're ready to mount it up uh, i did want to show you guys one more thing before i put it on bronco is i did tap into the factory fog light uh connector i tapped into it so i already have some wires accessible ready to go ahead and mount some fog lights so that way i can utilize the fog light switch inside the car so if i ever want to install some kind of fog light system in here somewhere i can go ahead and use that switch to turn the lights on so i got uh these ready just for later on just in case i do want to use that uh but yeah besides that guys we are ready to put it on guys there it is it is officially on the bronco and man does it look good that looks amazing uh, i was gonna go ahead and see if i could fit the the plastic shield uh on the car on the bronco but i would have to hack it up a lot in order to get it to work like i would have to cut along here along this whole side trim a lot of it off just to cover up this little section here and i don't think it's worth it especially that thing being plastic it's not going to do much anyways it's not really going to protect the undercarriage uh doesn't matter if any of this is wet uh if you're going to hit something hard enough to where it's going to damage anything on here that's not going to protect you regardless so i'm not sure if the one on the raptor is metal or if you order the um if you did order the modular bumper if it came with a metal skip plate or not i'm not sure if you do know put it in the comments below or is it plastic still if it's still plastic then uh you might want to go with something aftermarket which i'm going to go with something aftermarket that's made out of metal anyways to protect the undercarriage uh, besides that guys wow this thing looks amazing the sensors nice and flush with the bumper i did oh as far as the mounting bolts that bolt the bumper to the frame they are the same um the guy who sold me the bumper he gave me the, the bolts that came with the with the bumper and these bolts are the same okay so uh the mounting bolts that mount the bumper to the uh bronco are the same uh they're all basically the same bolts and he gave me the brackets i didn't have to use them i used the factory ones that i had uh besides that guys if you guys have any questions uh please put in the comments down below 
uh, we'll be adding lights and a winch to this eventually and maybe even a bull bar the bull bar depends because i don't want to block the camera there uh so anyways yeah if you guys found this video helpful please like please subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one